Hey guys, I am here today with Seth and he is the CEO of Avergon Marketing. They are a brand and marketing strategy firm. Seth works as a fractional CMO and as a CEO advisor. And I have today, Seth here today, so we're going to be chatting a little bit about, about brand imagery and specifically how that creates cohesion and how it creates attraction for your paid ads. So Seth, I am excited to have this conversation with you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, as you as you uh, as you hinted at, uh, imagery is very important. Imagery is very important for a brand because it creates that feeling you want around the brand. You know, the first thing people see is not your copy, it's not your headline, it's that image, and that image is going to either have an instantaneous "Ooh, I want to learn more," and it's mm -hmm. going to have a little bit of attraction to it to bring them closer. So they they want to read the headline, they want to read the copy that goes with that or they're not interested at all. But the first thing we as human beings are gonna see is an image. And if that image is attractive, and then it matches the copy, and it matches what that, that call to action is gonna be, it matches what I'm trying to say, that's exciting to that customer, that gets them to move forward. So, you know, think of that imagery, that brand imagery as again, creating cohesion right there. The image matches what you're talking about, matches the headline. You know, you're not showing a picture of a car wreck and then you're talking about a vacation in Bermuda. Those two don't work together, right? It wouldn't work. Uh, but if you have pic pictures of people on a beach and they look happy and they're smiling and if you're selling a vacation in Bermuda, that works. And it's attractive enough to bring them in. So you've got this, this uh, image that pulls them in. It's got a little bit of a hook to it. And then it it dovetails into what you're trying to say, what you're trying to present to that potential customer. That's where you get the magic in marketing. That's where that imagery is the uh, the sizzle, if you want to say it. It's, it's that it's that immediate thing that the customer is going to see and go, oh, I want to learn more. There's something about that image that's pulling me into it, that I'm relating with, that I want to be a part of. Yeah, definitely. And how do we really start translating that from just our marketing into a different avenue like paid ads? So with your paid ads, you know, we're, we're getting into A-B split testing often. And if those aren't familiar with that, that means that at any given time, I as a marketer, I'm not exactly sure what's going to work, but I'm going to work with someone like you uh, and your agency to say, okay, let's test some different types of imagery and copy and let's see what attracts who. So if we're doing our A-B split testing properly, I'm running five different ad types different mm -hmm. copy, different images that work with that copy, right? Remember, I'm not doing the car wreck with the Bermuda vacation, um, but I might be doing a part of the Bermuda vacation. I might be doing a couple on the beach. I might be doing a couple going dancing. I might be a couple going on an adventure somewhere. But well, what's more interesting to them? Is it is it the relaxation? Is it the fun in the evening? Is the adventure aspect? And you would create those images and I would have copy that goes with that. And then from there, we drive them down into landing pages. Well, again, more imagery, right? of trying to get them to convert. Um, and a conversion in this case might be sign up here to learn more. Download download this this information on this amazing uh, Bermuda vacation. And for the record, I don't I'm not working on vacations. I'm just giving that as an example. <laughs> I don't I don't have a Bermuda vacation client, but I'm open to it. Uh, so think about that. Think about how that how the different ad types and you working with me and saying, okay, we got five different versions we want to test. We don't know which one's going to really attract the most attention. And realistically, what works in October might be different than what works in November. Mm -hmm. So we're always playing with that. But the image is really my hook. That's the first thing that consumer is going to see. That's the first thing that's going to either draw their attention or not draw their attention. Definitely. So if anybody wants to learn more about this and chat with you, what is the best way for them to get in contact with you? Best way to reach me is either, uh, well, on my website, Rob, obviously, avergonmarketing.com, A-V-E-R-G-O-N, avergonmarketing.com, or you can find me on LinkedIn. I'm Seth, I'm the only Seth Avergon on LinkedIn. That makes it pretty easy. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, and I hope we get some value out of this. My pleasure.